Hello, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical, and we're back in London today for the launch of a groundbreaking new product that introduces fusion technology for the first time. Welcome to the Griffin. As we touched on in the introduction, the Griffin uses a thermal camera alongside a conventional optical daylight and night vision camera, and is able to build a fusion image. But we're going to take a look at the detail of what that actually means a little bit later in this video. The first thing you're going to notice when you pick the Griffin up is how different it feels to every other monocular in the height range. It's been designed to be super ergonomic and all the buttons and controls fall easily to hand. The other thing you're going to notice is the detachable battery. So that's easily removable and it runs on an 18650. So that's the common night vision battery, readily available, and it gives you around four hours of runtime. Just pop that in there. There's a rubber seal that keeps everything waterproof. This unit's also IP67 rated, so you're not gonna have any problems using it in the rain, and you're good to go. So simply slide your hand into the really comfortable grip, and all of the controls for the monocular fall easily to hand. At the front, you've got a power button. You press and hold to activate the device. You've also got a small light in there, which lets you know that the unit's powered on. A short press puts the unit into standby mode, and you can then reactivate really quickly. So moving back from the power button, you've got a thick plastic ridge, which makes it really easy to distinguish between the power button and the other buttons, which are used to control and manipulate the image in the device. So the second button back is your laser range finding button. You press and hold that to activate the laser range finder and to get a reading. You press quickly and release to take an image. Coming back from that, you have the M button. A quick press of this switches between the color profiles or a long press activates the menu. So because there's only three buttons fitted to this device, some of them are multi-purpose. So for example, if you want to record a video to the internal 16 gigabyte memory, you need to press and hold the laser rangefinder and the menu button, and that gives you the ability to start and stop recording a video. There's also a massive upgrade coming to the T-Vision app. So in addition to the standard features like stream and control and record, you'll be able to transfer files and upgrade your firmware and also activate the laser rangefinder from the app. And then at the very back, we've got a revolutionary new design, the jog wheel, which allows you to control your zoom in a really intuitive way and kind of mimics an optical scope. It allows you to sort of roll the zoom up and down as you would with a conventional scope. You also use this in the menus to slide up and down and make selections and adjustments to your settings. So coming to the front, and you'll notice that the Griffin has several lens systems built in. The top one is the thermal, and it's available in three different specifications. You've got a 25 mm and 35 mm focal length with a 384 sensor, and that gives you the option of a 2.4 times magnification or a 3.3 times magnification, depending on which focal length you choose. There's also a 640 pixel sensor, which has a two times optical magnification built in but you get a lot more detail out of that high resolution sensor and you can use more of the digital mag without noticing any pixelation. The thermal system is 100% developed and manufactured by Hike Micro in-house, including the thermal sensor. So that guarantees you their highly sensitive sub 35 net D sensor alongside their high quality F 1.0 lens. That means that all of the available thermal signal reaches the sensor and builds the highly detailed image. It also means that Hike are completely in control of their supply line, so we should have good stock of these available in the UK. It also means that Hike Micro are able to support any issues that you run into through their UK-based service centre. The typical turnaround time from Hike Micro's UK service centre is 10 days, so should you encounter a problem during your warranty period, you're not going to be waiting months and months to get your unit back. So, underneath the thermal camera, you'll find the optical camera. So this is there to capture your daylight image, or it also functions as a night vision camera for low light or darkness situations. That's really useful because you can use your conventional thermal palette to detect and locate a heat source. You can then quickly switch into the optical mode to then get a detailed view of it. You'll also find in the software that Hike have developed a fusion thermal mode, which is reintroducing the detail from the optical image back into the thermal to give you the best of both worlds. And that's helping to pick out the detail in the shapes and the outlines of animals, and that's gonna help you to identify from that single image mode. 
I actually think it's really useful to switch between all three types of modes. So you can use your conventional thermal in certain situations. You can then use that thermal fusion image in other situations where you want the overlay and the detail added back in. And then you can move to the optical to get the detail and really see a high quality image of your intended target. So this model is fitted with the optional 600 meter laser rangefinder, which you can find over on this side of the device. This is accurate to plus or minus one meter, and it's available in the 25 mil, 35 mil, and 35 pro models. So what better way to explain the fusion technology and how it works than with a quick demonstration. So I've now got the Griffin unit set up on a tripod at the end of Hike showroom, and I'm streaming that back to my phone using the T-Vision app, and I'm recording that so that I can share it with you and show you exactly how this works. So we're currently in a standard white hot thermal image. We've also got the standard four palettes that come with any other Hype monocular. So you've got the black hot, red hot, and fusion, in addition to the standard white hot that we're in now. You'll notice in the options, we've also got the additional optical mode. So that's giving you a standard daylight image. So you can see now all the detail in the screen behind me. We've got the detail in the screens here and even in the hick boxes. So it's really, that's then used to build the fusion image and make the super detailed thermal. So let's jump up to that mode now. So this is fusion. So you can see how we've got the detection of the thermal. You can see me quite clearly standing out, but we're also then overlaying and building this detail back in. So that is how fusion works. It's using the detail from the optical and it's adding that back in. So if we jump back now to the standard white hot mode, you can see all the text and detail has disappeared from the screens. These are just blank. You can see that they're hot, but they're not really showing you anything and the boxes are just, they're just a shape. But there we go, if we jump back to the fusion, you can now see that detail's reappeared. You can quite clearly see what's on here. Same with here. And that's what the fusion is designed to do. It's not replacing a thermal, it's kind of supercharging the quality of your thermal image. So that was our introduction to the groundbreaking new Griffin thermal and optical monocular from Hike Micro. If you've got any questions or you'd like to place an order, please just give us a call. Thank you very much for watching.